Hello to all the people out there. This is Miguel from Nerd Geek Talk, the source for all your nerdy geeky needs, here with another episode of Steel City Bots. We are recording this episode on March 12th, 2021. It is a Friday. It is very, very, very good to, to be Friday because um, I've had a hell of a week at work. I'm sure plenty of people have had that. So if you're if you're listening to this on a weekend, kick back, relax, enjoy. Um, and with me, we have a, 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 a light crew this week, but we have a Zeus. Hello. And Jared. Hello there. Um, yeah, I don't know good. why I always I always wave at my computer when I say hello. One sees so, it. One day, when one day we'll record, we'll be in front of like a live audience when it's legal to again. Um, and next and time, next TFCon, maybe probably maybe because the next T. I mean, if the, the I guess the next TFCon that we all go to, then yes, certainly. <laughs> yeah. Um. I wasn't suggesting we do it when I'm not there. That would be too hard. We'll wait for you. Okay. We'll bring you up on someone's. Uh, do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have an iPhone? I do have an iPhone. We can bring you up on someone's iPhone as, to FaceTime the audience, and we'll be good. That'll that'll be my contribution. Is I'll just be the computer man on the on the podcast panel. Yep. So yeah, um, we'll just kick it off with the history lesson, then we'll get into like just wh- whatever because uh, we're we're free forming it this week, kind of. Um, so yeah. Uh, as I mentioned before, we're recording this episode on March 12th, 2021, and on this day in history, in 1946, Frank Welker, the voice of... Uh, uh, Fred Jones. Fred Jones, Scooby-Doo, um, the, ro- the the lion roars in uh, The Lion King, Shao Kong at the end of the 1995 um, Mortal Kombat movie, um and but uh, Soundwave, Megatron, Prime Megatron, Prime Soundwave, uh, Galvatron in the G one cartoon. Um, yeah, more importantly, Doctor Claw and Inspector Gadget. Yeah, so it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Frank Welker. He was also in. He was Roth the security guard in Animaniacs. That was his most important role. Mm. It's fun. Like watching, watching almost anything, and like at this point, being able to pick up on when it's a Frank Welker thing, because usually I'll be like, so I'll pick up my phone, and people are like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm trying to find something." It's like that dog is Frank Welker, <laughs> <laughs> I, the voice of Megatron. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I do that sometimes too. But with um, what's it, why can't I remember his name now? Do you remember who he who he voices? Yeah, the guy he voices every clone. Oh, it's hey. like on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Uh, D. Baker. D. Uh, D. Bradley Baker, yeah. Yeah. It's like him and John Benjamin are just the most instantly recognizable voices to me in anything. So yeah, um, it's been a little bit since we last recorded. Uh, we tried to stagger this episode in the last just to kind of give like the new cycle room to like throw up some stuff. And um, surprisingly, this week, like even though we didn't have a fan first Friday or anything, um, a bunch of stuff kind of like dropped. Although t- um, to echo a point Zeus made earlier, it's very like one and done rather than just being like a whole glut of stuff, which makes me hope that soon enough like some sort of big event happens just to kind of give us that like sensory overload that we normally would get like yeah. at this point of the this, year this is around the time normally when they do a toy fair and right they the toy fair would have been like that. last they didn't week. even do yeah th- i'm surprised they didn't do like an online event it feels like the kind of thing that would have translated fine to a zoom call almost every other brand like for Hasbro, like 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 the collect like the boy collector or like the the, the aimed at boys toys traditionally boys toys or whatever. Um, 
like Power Rangers, um, GI Joe. Oh no, GI Joe didn't have one, but Power Rangers, Star Wars, Marvel Legends, like all those different collector brands, like they had one. So it was one of those things where it was like, oh, Transformers has to have one at some point, right? And then it didn't. Um, and people have thrown speculation as to why. It's like, oh, maybe things are, maybe samplers are delayed. Unicron's coming out. Who knows if that's like tying things up? They're waiting for people to get their Unicrons before they announce something. Which, huh? That might make sense based off of something I was listening to before we started recording. Um, I'll plug those at the end. But, um, so yeah, uh, we kind of listed off different topics before we started recording. So, um, Jared, is there anything you want to talk about specifically from like this, this sort of like new, new stuff that's been happening recently? Um, I just saw that wave two of um, core class just got found at U.S. retail, so that's that's a thing. Yep. Um, so at this point, we, uh, core class voyagers and leaders have all shown up at domestic retail, and some online retailers are starting to get um, the deluxes. And just for the timing of things, it seems that that means that like maybe like in two weeks' time, we'll probably start seeing deluxes hit store shelves. Um, yeah. Does anyone have anything from Wave Two that they haven't talked about? I think I talked about Dinobot already, and that's the only Wave 2 thing I have. I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. Jared, did you already talk about Dinobot? Yeah, I already I talked about I talked about Dinobot and um, Inferno right. last episode. Okay, you're right. And I have since then acquired both of them. Um, I I really like Inferno. I really like Inferno, like just in terms of like also like the way he fe like uh, his build quality and like the plastic itself i feel like his um it's it's a real improvement over um grapple because i did not like grapple I, like i would i was ha i would handle grapple and everything and i was like this toy doesn't feel good and then meanwhile with inferno i'm just like oh this feels amazing so it's one of those things where if they ever were to do another like for some reason they re-released grapple later on I might pick him up only because I feel like he would feel better than the, the um, Earthrise release. And I would hope that if they were to re-release him, they would uh, retool the pegs that go into his feet for vehicle mode so that they don't break like they did on Inferno. But yeah, really, really happy with Inferno. And then Dinobot's amazing. Dinobot is... I, I kind of I kind of was upset about like just the lack of paint on Dinobot, just seeing the pictures and everything, and even to the and that's even like before like people started getting in hand samples and it turned out that he's missing paint from his box render. Um, but regardless of that, like he just the sculpt is great. The transformation is beautiful. The and transformation like, is like insane. The whole thing turns itself pretty much inside out. And it, there, there's a there's a real order of operations to it that like once you figure it out, it's also really cool just how they make sure to get the like the parts where they are. Like I um, it's just something that that's really interesting. Where it's like part of what holds him together is his um his raptor claws, which specifically come out come out of the way so then you can then rearrange the bits and then turn him inside out it's yeah it's, it's yeah so the way the whole torso to comes together is like incredibly clever it's one of my favorite so it's i think of the three lines that they've done for war for cybertron it's easily one of my favorites kingdom kingdom is i think um i i definitely feel like kingdom's voyagers are a step up from sieges and sieges were way better than um earth rises i feel like earth rise earth rise in general like as far as build quality and tolerances and qc was a step down from siege and then i i could agree with that yeah the voyagers themselves i'm trying to think who else you know the seekers were decent but like the seekers were okay really... to scare me though yeah yeah no uh, I, I might be the only person in the world who really 
like loves Snapdragon and thinks he's like genuinely a hit, but I I liked Snapdragon, but the, 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 I think part of it is like because it's like what Snapdragon, Starscream, um, Megatron, Quintesson. Is that it? That was it. Unless we're talking retail exclusives, because then there are like five other stickers. No, but who who was released in Wave One? It was Starscream and oh, Grapple, Grapple, Not, yeah, Grapple, Grapple. Oh, I forgot funny. about no, yeah, Grapple sucked. Starscream's the secret mode's good, but the secret mode across the board has some QC things that scare me for the longevity. Yeah, the the, uh, the arm on my first Skywarp just exploded. I had to get a replacement, uh-huh. so that's definitely something that's kind of scary. Snapdragon yeah. is solid, and I think he's a hit. But again, I'm like probably the only person who thinks he's a top ten of that year. Who's Snapdragon released with? I haven't handled the Quintesson, and my only experience with the Megatron is the G2 one, where one of the the threads for one of the screw holes was completely stripped out and his right shoulder is super loose. So not in love with that mold. Wrap him and rack my brain. I'm going to check the wiki. Oh, Snapdragon was just by himself. No, he came with a refresh of Starscream, I think. Well, I mean, like, as far as, like, new mold. Yeah. Yeah, he was just by himself. Huh. Right, right. He so, came with a refresh of Starscream that had the different eyes. Different eyes? I don't remember that. There's two... There's There's at least... Two. Oh, it was the sad eyes, angry eyes thing, right? Right. There's Yeah, for people who don't remember uh, uh, listening out there, there's two variants of the Earthrise Seeker mold. One with um fuller, like, eyes as far as, like, Starscream's. Like, like, like basically the reds of his eyes are... are, are aren't are completely full so he kind of like the, yeah the, the sort of joke was that he looks sadder and then the ones where they're slightly slanted um in the front to make him kind of look angry um and those those variances are seen on um both starscream and the um the target two packs of uh, seekers hmm. um i have I will admit that I have um, the the core trio of Seekers in both flavors. <laughs> I uh, I was able to procure both sad and angry. I think my displays have angry, and I have the sad ones uh, in storage. I just checked; all of mine have sad eyes. At least they're the same. Just completely coincidental. Because uh, it would bother me if, like, some of mine, if, like, like let's say my, my Skywarp, my Thundercracker were angry, and then my Starscream was... I mean, that maybe not when... I guess having St- Skywarp and Thundercracker match and then Starscream be different doesn't bother me as much, but if it was, like, oh, like, Thundercracker's the angry one, Starscream's the sad one, and Skywarp's sad, then it would be, like, uh... Well, you probably also... Did you get like did you kind of lose your mind when only one of those figures has a screaming face and it's skywarp because that still bugs me that's the one thing i would want to change if i could is just get my hands on another thundercracker and swap their heads the fact that i only i mean if it was more easily if it was easier to procure that set um then like the hoops I sort of had to jump through to get the two of mine and then I just kind of called it um maybe but then even then like I did swap at one point but then I had like the mix of sad and angry and then eventually it was just like you know what I'm gonna I'm just gonna be fine with the fact that one of them screaming like like uh, um Skywarp and Dirge can hang out and scream together <laughs> uh yeah the two the two loudest boys Mm-hmm. On Cybertron. The loudest boys on Cybertron. <laughs> you might have found the episode title. Oh. I just, I don't even try. It just happened. We're not even. We're not even. Fifteen minutes into the episode. Fourteen fifty-one. 
The loudest boys on Cybertron. <laughs> I'm putting that in the chat or on Twitter just so I can have it somewhere. And then confuse everyone else. Thank you, Zeus. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Still losing it. Oh, that, that was so stupid. Uh, I Discord disconnected, so I have no idea what just happened. Oh, I like called that. Skywarp no. and Dirt. Okay, I won't say anything. Jared's gonna have to listen to the episode or just see the episode title. Yeah, and then he'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so um. Okay, so so <laughs> Zeus, now like let's let's pass it to you. Or is there anything specific you want to talk about from like recent news? There is, but it's gonna have to wait like one moment. My dad just came back with dinner. So I'm I'm just gonna pick it up, I'm gonna eat it in here. Okay. Alright. Um Alright, so I guess I'll pick something and then we can we can loop back to Zeus. Well no, I can't, because I might pick what Zeus what Zeus wants to talk about. Ah. All right, I'll just cut this out. Okay, I'm I'm back. I'm here now. Okay. I feel like maybe getting a wet burrito wasn't the smartest idea when I have no desk space. Anyways, so, uh, so speaking wait, of wait, wait. So wet, wet. When you say wet burrito, you're mean. You just mean that like the burrito happens to be wet. It's not that you specifically requested a, a quote unquote wet burrito. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure because I'm like, wet a, a wet burrito isn't a thing, is it? Yeah, it is. It's just a burrito that's like covered in salsa and cheese. Oh, so it is a thing. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. It might just be like a California thing. I don't know. Maybe. All right. So it makes it better though because then you get extra sauce and cheese and sometimes they put guacamole on top too. back he came back in 19 minutes so are we gonna pretend i never left or are we gonna leave that part in jared and i didn't say anything so i'm i'm i'm, I'm remi- I, there's about like three to four minutes i have to cut out he came back at the okay. 19 minute mark all right all right so, so zeus left of... well, i was gonna say zeus left came back with food after i asked him what to I... talk about so now he's a burrito yeah but I do all... have a burrito. <laughs> Besides your burrito, what do you want to talk about? Uh, well, we were talking about Seekers. Why not go on to Ramjet? I thought that was going to go somewhere else, but sure. Uh, so yeah, um, G2 Ramjet. Um, this is because a lot of the stuff we're going to talk about is starting to slowly. Because it's not even... One, one thing is for Hasbro to slowly and like 
with one release at a time reveal stuff, but it also means that at one one thing at a time, we get rumors and leaks confirmed. <laughs> and G2 Ramjet is one of them. So he's a, he's a Selects release. He's in all of his glorious purples and blues and blacks and looks great um it's the ideal color scheme for me a person who loves black and purple and blue robots 29.99 at all of your favorite retailers that carry uh generation select stuff and he'll be out in august uh i did pre-order one i had to think about that for a second but i did i pre-ordered one i'm assuming you pre-ordered one zeus I meant to. I don't remember if I ever did. Zeus needs to check if he pre-ordered one. <laughs> and uh, Jerry, did you? Um, no, I missed out on the Pulse pre-order, but I'll probably pre-order it, pre-order it from BTS or something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Pulse. Pulse is in a little bit of a weird situation with a lot of people because um a lot of the people who had like founder like Pulse premium memberships. I'll got them. I'll had them um, expire finally. So um, I I don't know whether or not I'm gonna like jump on Pulse at the moment, especially because their customer service is kind of bad. So paying fifty bucks a year to get free shipping, but then if like my thing comes broken, which it might, um, if I go with like BBTS and spend the extra money, at least the very least, if I tell them, hey, this thing came broken, they'll hit me up. They'll they'll hook me up. They won't hit me up and be like, we heard it was broken on the grapevine. It's like, what? <laughs> um, I mean, in, com in combination with this, as far as exclusive seekers go, we also have at least the Voyager packs for uh, Netflix Wave 3, where we get another seeker. A sparkless one. Yay. Um, yeah. And then that's the one that people are saying should be called Shitstorm, right? Yep, everyone's making that joke. So, sp Sparkless, it's kind of the term they're using for, like, these, like, zombie, like, decos. And then the, the rumors seer. were that it's, like, there's a zombie seeker and then the zombie dots in mold that um, is, like, the rust-colored one that we saw ages ago. There so were also rumors that the... Um... The deep cover we were supposed to be getting in Wave 3 was going to be Sparkless, right? Sparkless deep cover was among the deluxe um, listings. So, what? Who, who was in Wave 3? It's supposed to be... Cheetor, Sparkless, Barricade, and then supposedly that um, deep cover. Was only the three of them? All right. Yeah. All right. So, so the deep cover, the deep cover, like it was, I, I, it, it probably. Oh, actually, potentially that Paleo Trex. The Paleo Trex is the weird thing because, like, the Paleo Trex we've only ever seen by itself, but then the rumor supposedly it, it's supposed to be part of the leader pack. Right. So it's the thing that's kind of like confusing. Um, like the the leader pack will be a Voyager and a Deluxe rather than a leader, um, and like a Battlemaster. Um, or a Voyager with a trailer, like was the case with uh, Nemesis. Well, he also came with the Battlemaster, so it was kind of like the whole like leader thing. It's like, oh, that trailer plus a Voyager equals leader. Um, that that does seem to be the way that they're going forward with it. Is if it's got a trailer, it's a leader. Yeah, or which if means it, I'm if it's very got a trailer, excited. It's getting... the next size class up. Yeah, which means I'm very. Yeah, so I'm very excited to be getting a Voyager Pipes in Kingdom Wave 4. Yeah. <laughs> um so yeah, Sparkless Sparkless Seeker, so it's it's a green like kind of like if you took Acid Storm's like old color scheme, like the muted green and then you toned it down even more. And then he comes with um similarly decoed um Battlemasters one of which is Singe, and the other is Caliburst. So he stole one of Skywarp's... Or one of Vortex's target masters that came with Skywarp, and then stole one of the single pack. 
ones. Um, the other the other Voyager pack would be more interesting, or in theory could be more interesting. Um, it's uh, Rat Trap. Optimus Primal and Rat Trap. Yeah, Optimus Primal and Rat Trap. These pictures are awful because the base pictures just look like they're um, the, the retail Voyagers with their colors kind of tweaked. But then there's an individual picture of Rat Trap that looks like his deco is um, d different in a different, or like like um, some other type of different, but still close to the retail. Um, I haven't actually seen that individual picture of Rat Trap, so to me it just looks like slightly darker. And honestly, it looks like he just might be in shadow, because it doesn't... Like, the gray is a little bit darker at most, and it doesn't really look all that different in beast mode. The prim Primal has the most changes, but I'm using that term very loosely. It's like they just, they just tweaked, like, the, the hues of the colors themselves, but didn't really do anything drastic to the deco. Um, they changed the feet from blue to gray, and they changed the, uh, the metallic blue on the chest to like the same gray as his faceplate those are basically oh and they've darkened the metallics on everything else so like the the crotch is a darker color the ears are darker the swords are a little darker but like it's not nearly as drastic in my opinion as like the uh their netflix prime was which had colors different enough from the retail one that i could justify getting it but this one just looks like close enough that i can't be bothered like I like I like the different I like the the, the 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 gray feet like versus the blue like compared to the, the gray the, the yeah no the gray feet are nice but oddly enough the blue feet don't bother me as much in hand and if I really feel the need to change them I've got paint I've already painted the hips on mine so I'm you know I'm used to that yeah yeah you can keep going I'm like it's almost but it's almost like a thing like. I, I almost would like this more if it looked like the box art, where the blue is, is a lot lighter. Like it kind of toy colors. Right. It's it's like, I would almost want that more. Like that, if I if they had actually done that, then I would have... Yeah, no, I would, I would be dead set on getting this if it was in toy colors. Same. But as it is, it didn't fix the biggest problem I had with the retail release, which was the blue hips. And it barely makes enough changes to the rest of the figure to justify getting it. Yeah, I mean, when I see it in person, like maybe it'll be it'll that that'll like decide it for me. The rat trap, I'm just like whatever about the primals. Like, there's potential here for me to like for you to have made a primal that was that had it deco tweaks that were different enough from the from the retail release that if you like went more show accurate or something, then people would have been like, oh, okay, cool, or like made it like because the the retail release is already pretty dark for i think for primal so making it a little lighter i think would have been cool but then to go even darker it's like what are you what are you doing no stop you're just putting a layer of soot on him at least he's not caked in mud at least he's not caked in mud or quote-unquote mud <laughs> um we're talking about wheeljack here right no, I was talking about primal. If he was kicked in, in in poop. Oh, I'm I'm like completely out of the loop no, right it's now. Fine. It's fine. Um, I'm sorry. I can only half pay attention. To, I'm eating. It's fine. <laughs> well, we'll we'll uh, we'll give you enough time to pay to pay attention to. Um, well, I, I guess um, part of the reason why at least some people are thinking that like pictures just dropped of um, the way three Netflix stuff is because of the fact that. Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, Pre-orders are going to go up at Walmart's website as part of their Walmart Collector Con thing that they had like like had last year that ended up just being like we're going to turn on a bunch of pre-orders and not name them and then they're not, they're all going to a lot of them are going to sell out really quickly and then we're just going to cancel a bunch of these on people anyway when what Netflix wave two dropped so netflix yeah didn't you have like most of yours canceled from that uh yes i got everyone that i wanted and then all of them ended up getting canceled it was awful mm. 
in the grand scheme, in the different in the various times that I've I've been to Walmart since then, I've ended up seeing everything that I pre-ordered. So it was one of those things where it's like I don't really have to bother. Um, uh, it, some some things maybe took a little bit longer than others. Like uh, I didn't actually see Soundwave until this past week. And I had to revisit that that store a couple days later, and all of they had four primes and two sound waves. All of them were gone within two days. Damn, I still need to find that sound wave. I almost ordered one when it went up on Pulse earlier, but it would have like completely cleared out my bank account. I should have asked because then I could have held. Actually, not even held. Well, no, no, I messed up. I was thinking I was buying something from you. But if I bought that for you, then it's like you owe me even more money. Yeah, it would have gone up from like forty-five to. You would have basically doubled. Yeah, I would have had to pay like ninety dollars. But yeah, so then the other thing, uh, along with the, the the Netflix stuff, is that Walmart this summer is going to get a wave of, or at least one wave, of um of Beast Wars reissues. So we have, um, and we talked about these as far as like, the, like they were they were rumored, and then there was more confirmation and stuff, and then now we actually have pictures. So um, officially revealed, we have Ultra Class Optimus Primal and Megatron from the first um, year of Beast Wars, along with Deluxe uh, Cheetor and Basic Rat Trap. Cheetor and Rat Trap are both being sold at the same price, and for some reason on the back of the boxes they're referred to as Megas. So. Um, I mean, the back of the box is also all kinds of messed up because um, some of the photos may be of the vintage to toys, which have decos that are different from these reissues. Um, except for Cheetor. Cheetor's back of the box um, version is the Beast Wars 10th anniversary one with the silver replacing all of the gold and the blue. And with the tampograph of a, of a maximal symbol on his, on his uh, uh, Cheetah leg like the four one of his four legs all kinds of weird that is weird um primal and megatron are 50 each and Pachira and rat trap are 20 vintage packaging old molds new decos weird decos yeah new decos that uh, new weird decos that aren't accurate to anything the the Megatron kind of looks like cartoon colors, but if I'm remembering right, the head is still the toy head. The head's not even the toy head. The head's just black for some reason. Okay, toy yeah, head was silver. Weirder. Yeah, no, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. I had to pull up the IGN art. And Primal, um, Primal's all kinds of weird because his most of his colors are right, but his blues are He's got are the all... metallic blue. He's got a metallic blue head, and then all of his um, his missiles and his weapons are all lighter. Yeah. Rat traps. Rat traps got black um, rat eyes on his chest, which he never had, and um, his browns are kind of a, are li a kind of different. But rat trap is the closest to his vintage toy, and then Cheetor is an amalgamation of two of the variants. He's got the red eyes in robot mode, but then he's got the green cheetah eyes. Unless I'm misremembering one of the var if there was a variant of the green cheetah eyes that had red eyes, but I mean it just adds to the the crop of of cheetah variants. Cheetah yeah, variants. it's just another bit of weirdness. Um, yeah, that is an all black head. That's wild because it doesn't look like the toy. It doesn't look like the cartoon. Um, yeah. It's so I have all of the, just from, like, the past, like, couple of years, like, trying to, like, grab, like, vin uh, old, like vintage Beast Wars, and I kind of finished, where like, where I wanted to be with it. I have all of these molds. Do either of you have any of these? I've experienced I have... Because, um, my neighbor down the street had them growing up, and he still has them all at his parents' house, so I've been able to mess with, I think... Pretty much all of these, except for the basics, rat trap. Mm. Um, I have a shadow panther, 
And that's it. So I have not actually, but I haven't taken them out of the box. So mm. I've never messed with any of these molds. Um, I like the primal. I'm probably not going to get it because it's $50 and I don't need another primal. I'm trying to mostly stick to like one version of every character with some exceptions. But primal is not a figure, a character that I need two figures of personally. Are there any any of these that you would go for? Primal is the only one I might have gone for because Megatron was I remember being fine but not loving. Uh, Cheetor I actively despise. I don't know why. I just I don't like that mold. And Rat Trap looks boring. Okay, Jared, would you, if you saw any of these, would you would you get them? And if you did, would you open them? Um, if I saw any, if I saw like any of these on like the shelves at a Walmart, I'd probably just pick up Cheat War. And if I saw any of the, um, if I saw like. Megs are primal. I'd wait and see if I can find them at like a rollback price or something like that. Okay. If they did a Rhinox, I'd consider it because I had the the Beast Wars ten Rhinox growing up, and I loved that figure, but I lost it. I think it might have gone out in a yard sale at some point. Rhinox, I feel like, is one of those molds that like you could find. You might even find, be able to find the Beast Wars 10th one, um, like, loose for, like, t- around 20, if not less. I might be wrong, but... Um, Let's find out right now, live. All right. Well, he does that. Yeah, like, these... I, I would say definitely, if you're, like, if you're if you're interested or, like, on the fence and, like... Um, as much as... Because I had Megatron as, like, growing up, but Primal definitely is the best of these toys i'm i'm partial to the cheetor um as well because he was like one of if not my first transformer so like i would i would say get that because it's just it is kind of a fun mold personally and he's got the water squirting gimmick in his his gut gun um rat trap is like rat trap for a while was like a white whale just because i never had him and then i eventually got him and he's it, it's in, like the the Beast Wars basics are neat, but I don't know if modern. I'd be I'd be fearful of what modern plastics will do to those mechanisms and everything, and all in most of these, um, just how some of these will feel. I'll probably pick these up, but like I don't think I'll open them because I all the versions that I have probably have better build quality. Gar- and, and like yeah i've i with some of these molds i've had my fun with them so it's like i don't need to have like ones to like completely fiddle with um but it's cool to see that they're that they're doing this yeah and i, ho- I hope i hope it's not just a one and done wave i hope that they do continue yeah because it, it'd be it's gonna... interesting to see what other molds they might be able to um bring back yeah it would be weird seeing, right. like, going to Walmart, a uh, Walmart, seeing, like, Vintage Reissue, um, like, Headmasters, a, like, Reissue Vintage Beast Wars, and, like, some mainline stuff just all sitting at the same shelf. Depending on how crazy your Walmarts get, you might end up seeing um, Reissue, Netflix, and Kingdom Wave 1, Optimus Primal, all on the same, all on the shelf. Three Primals. <laughs> All right, so assuming that this comes with all of its accessories, I could get a complete Beast Wars 10th for 25 with shipping. It's not bad. Yeah. Worst case, I pay an extra 5 to guarantee that he comes with his little chain gun thing. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Um... Yeah. And then the I may go last... in on it if I make some more sales. Yeah, the last thing, um, which I think I think has the meatiest of of them all. Um, at some point last week, there was um, 
because Takara Tomi usually puts out like like silhouetted silhouettes of stuff that they're about to put pre-orders up for, so they tease it. And for the most part, it's stuff that we've seen before. So last week they they teased up um um Revenge Maverick. of the Fallen Bumblebee Maverick and something that well we haven't really seen in full before uh Kingdom Commander class Rodimus Prime um yeah. which was a, a, a bit of a surprise a bit some some um some back and forth with people and everything given the fact that it's like well, one like the, the character selection and then just the it, the apparent like um scale and everything um based off of the specifications on Takara Tomi's website um he comes with as far as accessory uh, accessory loadout um his I think it's his, I think it's called the photon burst rifle that's his his, his gun um, a sword, which, um, according to the leaks and rumors and whatnot, is supposed to be, um, inspired by the Sword of Primus from re the Regeneration 1 comics. He comes with, a uh, Matrix of Leadership, 10 blast effects, and a trailer. The trailer can open up, and it has the, his artillery cannon thing, um, apparently... Which is on treads now. Which is on treads, and apparently it does remove... This was something I was looking up, and one of the leaky people was like, "Oh yeah, the the, the thing could come out, and you can put core class figures in his trailer." Um, and the blast effects. It seems like a lot of them will be recolors of Omega Supremes, but at least one of them is a matrix matrix effect, which is different from the one that comes with uh, Studio Series uh, Hot Rod. Um, so yeah, he people have been doing some sleuthing thanks to like stuff like having the blast effect as a comparator or like as a as a comparison not not compare well no I, um it, it's as a using that and then putting that same blast effect with optimus and then kind of figuring out the size so uh, rodimus will be anywhere from like between um earthrise optimus and the siege kingdom magnus uh leader so he's he's he fits between those two, which I think is a pretty good size for Rodimus. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Um, I I I've seen people speculate that the that, or at least hope that um you that the trailer of like because the, the Rodimus turns into um basically Hot Rod's vehicle form and then combines into the trailer and. I've seen some people suggest that the trailer images here may be mistransformed and that he might fit more snugly inside of the trailer. Especially so well, that from he... the picture Yeah. I don't know, from the picture I'm seeing, it looks like that spoiler is slotted in as about as far back as it could. Mm. There could maybe be some other transformation steps with me doing, but some, I don't know. Some people are are, are, are thinking be. that some of it has to do with the fact that there's this other there's this extra peg hole like on the side of his vehicle mode that might peg in further so there may be like there's also that that back section uh, might be part of what's on that hinge like that you see that black hinge um yeah the black hinge is just like right behind the windshield right so part of that like that there may be like let's say the back half may might be able to fit over a bit differently and whatnot there might there might be some some mistransformation going on or some other people have suggested that potentially the spoiler might like come off rotate. either rotate or, or, or full-on come off and you might be able to like fit it better part of it is because like in uh, traditionally rodimus in his vehicle mode has six wheels right so like there now he's eight so it's one of those things where uh there might be some finagling and, yeah. and even not if I, I had to guess probably the spoiler wouldn't come off because there's a dead i could definitely see it maybe rotating around so that he could sit further back in there and uh, the other thing is also just like if if he were to fit sit further into the trailer that would also let the pipes that are on the sides of the trailer um conform to the sides of the vehicle mode 
more properly to what they should be and when he's in like his his Winnebago mode. Right. Just shortening them, right? You're not talking about like right over. Like basically like where the pipes go down and like they they start like folding in, like those would then be where um the pipes end on his arms in like the base vehicle mode. I don't I don't really see that cuz then the um I don't know if they could actually fit that as a thing. It looks like maybe there are like a couple of tabs on the back end of the vehicle mode that might be for that, but at the same time that might put the wheel in a weird spot so that it's kind of like behind the first trailer wheel instead of lining up with it. We'll definitely have to see more in hand images and videos before I can make my call, but I'm saying probably at most the spoiler rotates around so we can sit a little further back, but I don't think there's going to be much beyond that. Yeah, I mean, it's all wishful thinking. I don't think it looks awful. Like, if anything, like... Like, mostly, I would... Like, my, my main problem is more about the fact that, like, the windshield's so large. Like, without any of the, the, the sort of, like, detailing that is usually on it. Like, it, it, for Rodimus mode, I always think of his, his windshield as being a lot more, like, squat compared to Rodimus's, and this looks, like, huge. Yeah, I see what you're hot talking rods, about. It looks rods, like um, this is he's Rodimus. Um, but overall, I think he looks he looks good. Um, his legs look like they do the same sort of magic that um Studio the Series same, Hot yeah, Rods like, does. Yeah, a lot of the same compression. It looks like it shares a lot of the transformation, which kind of has me confused because it looks like the chest might be just the actual vehicle mode or. From certain angles, it looks like it, but actually, taking a like on a closer inspection, it's not the legs. The legs are where I feel like a lot of it will feel similar, and the the torso I think is where it's like all like all new thinking. Well, no, because the thing is, from certain angles, you can see that the um the vehicle hood kind of cuts off in a different place than the torso does the torso goes a little bit deeper and you can't really see that it might just be the angle but it it's definitely looks like a different shape from the front of the vehicle mode and it does kind of look like it has the same like shoulder the um hinges on his shoulders that kind of help you give him like a bit of a uh if um Series eighty six hot rod, like a um, butterfly joint. Those look. Let's say he has like the same type of mechanism there. Until. I mean, either way, even if he yeah, ends up being. Like, what's up? I, I'm just saying, even if he ends up being like largely like, oh, he he he's he's an upscaled ver version of that, or he, he kind of feels like an upscaled version of that deluxe. That's a really good deluxe deluxe toy that was sold as a Voyager. So I'm finding yeah. an upscaled one as a Voyager leader-ish guy sold as a commander. Because at the end of the day, it's like... He's not, he's not like... I feel like they're like one Rodimus Prime off from having like boom, you did it, you like, you don't have to do another Rodimus Prime. This is one where I'm like, I'm okay with this. I'm way more okay with this than um, your last attempt. Mm, um, yeah. But, yeah. like, you, you, you might need to do one more pass, so in, like, five years we'll get, like, Generations Rodimus 3, and that one will be, like, the perfect one. Um, yeah. Really, there's not a lot, at least for me, that needs to be changed on this one. Yeah, maybe have the vehicle mode sit further back into the trailer, but the robot mode looks pretty, pretty much perfect to me. Hey, look, I the like face. him. I like him, and I like kind of like where he's going a bit more like he he feels a bit more toyetic. Whereas the Studio Series ones very clearly, it's like we're trying to do a screen accurate one at, at retail, and um, he ate up all of the screen accuracy budget of the first like wave of. Um, 
the first wave of, of 86 <laughs> because like Grimlock kind of got and Grimlock Grimlock um was able to be kind of saved but then Cup and Blur well, it's like what happened yeah they're good but it's I'm just like, like they don't not, this isn't movie Cup and Hot Rod what'd you do yeah um I do like the kind of like the masterpiece style hands he has where it's like the index finger is fully articulated and then the the um, three underneath are like on two hinges but are fused together. Yeah, he does have like, masterpiece hands instead of having yeah. just like the standard matrix hands we've been getting. Oh my just god, you're right. Separate trigger finger, he's got even separate knuckles, like a second set. I saw the I saw the double hinges, but I didn't I didn't key in on the fact that he's got the index finger. He's got the command hand. He or not command yeah. hand, but he can point. Yeah, he can do the classic prime point. He can do the uh, the MP10 point. Oh my god, Jared, you're a genius. <laughs> oh, oh my figure of the year. <laughs> <laughs> figure of the year. But also, I mean, even that then, seems to be how most people feel about the commander classes, anyways. Well, yeah, but even then, with the fact that like, I've, this is this, this assessment I've seen before, but the fact that he's got the articulated hands means that he and Optimus can do a handshake. <laughs> that is true. In the I past, the, they... the last time that this happened, okay, so like going back like what ten years ago or so, when like Fans Project did um, Protector to give you your Rodimus, and then he came with. Protector came with a specific part that was um, it looked it looked weird. It was like this weird like um cube thing with two pegs. And then the thing what you did was you pegged one of it into Classics Prime's hand, and it gave it made it look like his fingers were extending. And then you plugged the other half into Protector's hand, and then it looked like Rodimus and and Optimus were shaking hands. I remember that. <laughs> it was, That's exciting. It was beautiful. Um, the only problem is Protector was garbage, but none of us wanted to admit it. I I still think he looks kind of neat, but the fact that he's based off of that classic Hot Rod, which is genuinely one of the worst toys I own, the only definitely thing, not doing him any favors. The only saving thing about that was the fact that they gave um, Rodimus a, um, a roller, basically. And then what have they done here? They let the turret be on tread. So now, the, now the, that... My head cannon. That's roller. Boom. I mean, he would have needed work after Optimus was gone. So right. No, sense. this this Winnebago. Like when when Rodimus got the trailer, or well, not not when he got the trailer. When he got the Matrix, that's what happened with the trailer. The trailer um converted. That's that's Optimus's trailer. It's just upgraded. The trailer is just a part of the becoming a prime. Right, and so is roller. And, yep. the com- and the combat <laughs> deck. Only except for Rodimus, for some reason, the combat deck and Roller combined. Yep. Or actually, no. Combat... It's like... the- no, the combat deck, since this is the... If we're going by cartoon logic, the combat deck could come out. So this is the cartoon combat deck. And then Roller ends up stuck in Unspace, which is then how we get to the Unite Warriors timeline. Yeah, it, but it's just like when you move into a house and it's already got furniture. Sure. Um, so I'd say that we're all pretty. We're we're all keeping a watchful eye on com- on the commander class Rodimus Prime. Yeah, I'm gonna try to pull the same like Donanomics that I did before and try to get him for fifty, like I did with Skylinks. But if not, I'm fully happy paying retail for him. I mean, at 50, this would be amazing. Yeah. At 50, Skylinks is incredible. I I wish I had the patience. Because I had a $50 Skylinks pre-ordered, and then I got impatient because I saw him in, in person. I was like, I want that. And I also saw... Did I see him? I saw him and Scorponok at the same time, so I, I left that day with both of them. <laughs> when I got my Skylinks, I got him and I got on Blitzwing, so... I still ended up spending eighty dollars that day, but I spent eighty dollars on three figures instead of two. I remember finding my Skylinks at Target. <laughs> That's where I found That's mine. Over, I paid full price. Oh, 
less a little less than full price because of boy discount and yeah. red card stuff. Zeus, how'd you get him for 50? Um, but I was thinking, what? No, Zeus, how'd you get him for fifty? Was there a coupon? There was a coupon for twenty five percent off, so that knocked him down to sixty. And like the week before, I bought about fifty bucks worth of Lego, and they had a sale where you could get a ten dollar gift card back from that. So. Mm. I effectively paid fifty for him. Okay, Jerry, what were you gonna say? Um, I was gonna say like, from what pictures we have, I doubt it's possible, but it'd be pretty cool if um like the core Rodimus figure could have like a bit of a pivot, so um the trailer is not just fused in one position, but it's it's just a random one-off thought. <laughs> That's probably not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen with the at least based off of the pictures that we have. Yeah. So Nathaniel Prime on Twitter did a digi bash of Kingdom Primal in toy colors, and um, I I fully agree with Zeus now. I wish we got this. Yeah, I saw it. I'm all with and... the toy colors Primal guy because that was my first exposure to the character. So, like, anytime I see him in toy colors, I just... It's incredible. I'm now tempted to get another Optimus Primal to do this. Why don't you just do this to the one that you have? And then get and then get one and, like, make it show. I'm gonna close my door. People are talking. I mean, I still want to have, like, my one, because now I've watched all of the Beast Wars, and I like having on-screen representation for, or not on, I like having a representation of the on-screen version, but if I ever do manage to track down a second uh, Primal, that for sure is going to become Toy Colors. you well in that in that endeavor or did someone get i mean i think he's last i checked he might be on amazon i can't remember exactly it's it's been a while since i've actually used amazon all right uh anybody want to talk about stuff they got they got recently yeah i got a couple things i could talk same Cool, cool, cool. Let's um, let's ping pong this. So one person talk about one thing, and then the other person will go, and we'll go Zeus, Jared, me. And then we'll just keep rotating. All right, cool. Well, I only got two things, so that'll I'll be out pretty quick. The first one I got, uh, Studio Series Shockwave, Ooh. which is something I bought from Don, which ended up only costing me, I th- think, like 45 total, because he had gotten it on sale. And then he only charged me half price for shipping because he took like a month to get it out, which is fine. And um, he looks great, but I don't like him as a toy. He feels awful. He does. Ooh, sorry, I got hiccups, so I I'm, I can only get out like a couple of words at a time. Is, does it have um, anything to do with the rubbery plastic? The rubbery plastic is kind of annoying... Especially since he's got, like, a whole handmade gun. But also the joints on mine are kind of loose. Especially his ankles. I can't get him to stand upright without working for, like, five minutes to pose him. Um, the transformation doesn't feel good. I can't really explain it beyond that. I don't love the weird tank mode. Uh... I almost immediately lost the two slug figures. They're, I put them in a Ziploc bag so that I wouldn't lose them. And then they disappeared into the void that's my desk. The paratrooper doesn't work as like a paratrooper toy. Like if I drop actually catch the wind. So he's kind of useless. I'm glad I didn't pay more than 40 for this. That's that's as much as I'll say on him. All right. 
Jared, uh, take take us up a higher note. Is this- <laughs> um, I'll start off light. Um, I actually got a second studio series studio series um eighty six jazz because I forgot to cancel the pre order I did for Pulse after I found way, jazz at way to retail. Rub it in. I I I also did that exact same thing, so I ended up with a second wow. one. <laughs> wow, way way to rub it in when I'm still waiting on stupid post office. Wait, which one? Do, where's your Where's yours coming from? I John bought it for me. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I it would have been funny if oh, or not funny, but it would just been interesting if like you also ordered one from Pulse, but all, all Jaren mine's like extra ones showed up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, I almost did when he went in stock. I was gonna get him like scourge but i think the scourge sold out mm. before i could put in my order wait so jared you only have two right so this is the one that you did the thing to yeah um i turned my extra 86 jazz into marvel comics jazz so i painted um his head his shoulders his hand his crotch and his legs to make him look like his g1 comic or marvel comic self jared somehow got the like blue like the blue black color like perfect like it was yeah and i didn't even i didn't even have this paint on hand i had to mix a lighter or darker paint blue paint with a lighter blue paint and some white paint to actually get it to work that's how you gotta do it and like i have not mixed paint much at all but i managed to make it work somehow some way it looked it looked beautiful. generally eyeballing is the best way to do it that's that's how i've gotten the closest in the past mm-hmm. when i try to like actually measure stuff out and do like you know one part of this two parts of the other it doesn't get quite as close as just looking at it with my eyes yeah that's basically what i did i just kind of dumped so much of the dark blue in a little bit more of the lighter blue and a little bit more of the white and mixed it in adjusted um as needed and i uh, got this part of part of the uh the, the key also is like once you mix it and you get the color right everything that should be that color just do it then yeah that's what i did Cause, yeah because if you try to mix it again you're not going to get it exact nope and then you're going to be like yeah, do yeah. i put more on am i gonna am i gonna cake this thing now do i strip it off oh no i ruined it All right. Yep. Yeah, I'm more. I'm mostly proud of the head sculpt because I. This is the one of my customs were, or one of the um, first customs I've done in a while where like the head sculpt just looks really like I like it more than the original now almost. No, it looks it really, really sharp. Pops. All right. Um. Let's see. Well, I I kind of cheated before because I talked about I, I talked about, I talked about Inferno and and Dinobot. Um, all right, what else can I? I'm just looking around and being like in the carnage that is this basement, trying to think what. Um, Well, um, one thing one thing I'll talk about is um I I ordered a a, a, a heap of um of stuff from uh, Robo Toy Base, which is based out in Hong Kong, um and it was a it was a whole like crop of like um a lot of like oversized knockoffs or like stuff based off of like like just in, stuff stuff in that vein. Um, a lot of it I haven't opened or I did, and I, in, like the the prime um the prime prime and prime megatron um that i was taking pictures of but the one that i really want to talk about is um uh the optimal optimus so um i don't remember what what company i'd have to look it up i I don't remember what company that it's just it is the same company that's doing those um like who, who who did skateboard gorilla you just go there yeah, we're yeah, here. here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Um, okay, so Trans Art. Um, so Trans Art's the one, who, the guys who are doing the, uh, 
the like third party kind of upscaled KOs of the Beast Wars uh stuff. Right. They did that transmetal primal that you were talking about. Right. Skateboard so, Gorilla. Right. So they did Skateboard Gorilla and they did like the Iron Iron Leopard or whatever that was the Transmetal Cheetor. Um but their previous um offerings prior to them going into this NP route were doing masterpiece scaled um like uh, Beast Wars stuff that was scaled to G1 Masterpiece or trying to be scaled to G1 Masterpiece. So they did a undersized KO of the original Optimus Primal toy and they did an undersized KO of um, the uh, Optimus Optimus. So that's what I got in Primal Prime Colors. So what? It, what the way that they modified... Then they modified the mold because they... Well, one, the electronics are all gutted, so what they ended up doing is they modified uh, the gun turret, or, like, the, the gun turret thing that for, like, the, the vehicle mode, so that the cannons can go in like they did on the show. They're kind of like telescopes? Yeah. So they telescope in, so they're, 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 they sit inside of that assembly and then, and then can go out. Um, he's got articulated um, fingers. Um... And he's got a toe bend, so his his toes can can move. And then um, the gun they didn't replicate; they made a different gun, and it you but it uses the same missiles that go into his chest. And the missile gimmick still works, so you can still fire the missiles. He still turns into all the different modes: so um, giant armored car, fl uh, flying like gorilla with a cockpit for face, uh, robot mm. and gorilla. The, the cockpit, though, doesn't have the underside. I don't know. I haven't looked. I think that's the way they modified it. I don't think mine's just missing a portion of it. I should look that up. Um, but, um, yeah, and he's, he's like, roughly, like, like, I just took, I took a picture with him, uh, of him with, um. Hot Rod. Hot Rod. And he's he... about modern leader size, so, like, beefy Voyager. Yeah, that's what I was like. I wanted to take a picture of him with um with Earthrise Prime, and I might do that. Um, and his his deco his deco's pretty pretty okay. I think I think some of his like as far as like the deco on his face, they um they miss some red like his the the little like brim of his of his um the like hat kind of hat part of his head should be red. Um, the main thing I wanted to do was um come up like and I, I was talking to zeus about this of like do like maybe like just getting some like what did you say green putty was that the thing it's called green stuff green stuff there we go i was like silly put city yeah. silly putty like my head was going to different directions green stuff or something to do like um try to get, come up with a piece that i could put over his mouth so that he has the proper face plate that he did in the 3h comics yeah. um is it? Are you trying to do like a removable thing, or do you just want to fill? I would try to do it so that basically it could fit in. But like, if I put a toothpick or something, I, I could pry it out. Okay. Uh, if you want to do that, be sure to put just like some um, some Vaseline on underneath, because otherwise it would stick and it's gonna be impossible to remove. I the the idea of it would be to like shape it and then let it dry and then do that, not like put it on. Like, right, no, but what I'm saying is when it, while it's curing, you're, because you're not going to be able to get it out of their shape properly, so you got to let it cure in there and then just make sure you put, like, some Vaseline on so that it lifts out easy. I suppose. I mean, the other, the other idea is I could just, like, get styrene and then just shape it. I mean, yeah, that works, too. It won't be as form-fitting, but that's probably if you don't want to risk getting it lodged in there forever that's probably the safer option yeah um but yeah i i i just want to look up to see uh, trans art optimal optimus it's like maybe maybe put like a thin sheet of metal underneath and try to work a magnet into the head so that it holds a little better
please don't tell me this thing actually does have a cockpit and mine just doesn't have it. Like the the seat. That'd be annoying. Uh, oh yeah, I was trying to get a picture for you to find out. Um, I just oh, let's let me take a look at the uh, this Chrome version that I found on Robot Toy Base. Looks like it's just empty from the bottom, so it it might not. Good. No, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, good. I was about to say, I was like, no, what happened? Why am I? I thought. Um, at first, um, when I was opening it, the, um, one of his index fingers had come off and was, like, rattling around in the box. But when I pulled him out, I, I didn't notice that at first, so I had, I, I jiggled the box and it fell out, but in, at first I was like, of course. Like, I get this thing, I'm excited. It's pretty, like, of all the weird KO stuff that I ordered, like, it, it, it's the one with the best build quality, and it was one of those things where I was like, please don't have, like, a missing part that I then have to jump through hoops to find. Because I, I originally <laughs> wanted um, the Optimal Optimus one when this thing came out, like, a couple years ago, and then it, like, it was like, it came and it went. And then when I was when I was looking up some stuff, I found the, op, the, the Primal Prime, and I was like, oh, I would much rather, because I have the the uh power of the primes optimal optimus and i'm like oh i'd much rather if i'm gonna get one of these i'd much rather have it in primal prime colors because i missed out on the on the gigantic like perfect effect one so i was like this kind of feels more up my speed and it i, I love it so uh um if you can track one down and you're in it's you're something you you're potentially interested in i'd say go for it just don't probably i did a whole bulk order so that was fine with that but probably don't yeah. pay too much money for it no. I um I never really liked most of the Transmetal or Transmetal 2 designs. Some of them I think are kind of neat. Like I like the Megatron, but for the Maximals I never really liked much beyond the season 1 designs personally, so I probably won't go in on it. Hmm. So is the thing the other thing you got better than um Dark of the Moon Shockwave? Oh, significantly. Okay, good. It's, uh, it's Kingdom Cyclonus. Ooh. Who's incredible, and I love him. I haven't... I pretty much haven't been able to put him down. Uh, I mentioned, like, before we started, that I'm kind of... I feel very mixed about the head sculpt, because to me it feels like they were trying to go for, like, a kind of middle ground between the IDW and the G1 cartoon. And I think it, like, from certain angles, he looks fantastic, but from others, it looks a little tall and just kind of wrong. There was someone I saw a while ago who actually had, like, made a fixed, like, their own head for him that they're at some point planning on selling, and I really liked that. But as it stands in person, I don't mind the head sculpt as much, but it's definitely probably the weakest part of the figure for me. Everything else about this is fantastic, though. The paint is incredible. I absolutely, I love the transformation and the jet mode. They're both just like, the way the uh, the nose cone compresses is just like mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. It keeps going. It just keeps going. Yeah. It's genuinely, like, I was more excited for pretty much every other figure in this in the first wave of kingdom than I was for Cyclonus with the exception of like the two Optimus that were in that wave. But honestly, this might be the best figure of that wave, possibly of the line. Uh, Dinobot's a close contender though. It's like this Dinobot and Megatron, all three really just make the line for me. Those are like some of the best figures I've handled it since I've started collecting. Yeah, I'm, and with Cyclonus, for me personally, like, his light piping is really, really good. Like, you do not need much light at all for his eyes to just glow a nice, vibrant red you know, I can hold him up in front of my computer screen with Discord open, and it, you know, when it's on dark mode, and you still get like a really nice 
light piping from that. Yeah, and for me, like light piping can either make a figure great or hurt the figure. Yeah, because yeah. Look, if some figures with really bad light piping having like a pretty much completely dead eyes and no matter what angle you get them at it just doesn't look right and that ruined a lot of figures for me when i was a kid when they still did a lot of light piping but their light piping in the last couple of years has been incredible on pretty much every figure they've attempted it with oh yeah Miguel, are you still here? Yeah, I'm still here. No, I was. I was we 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 already set up the order, so like you, you, it's your turn. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, we I thought were we were all waiting for you to go. Oh, oh, sorry. I thought there was going to be a transition. Never mind then. Um, okay. Um, I got the um this guy um earlier today. It's the uh, reissue Headmaster Skull Cruncher in the G1 packaging. Um, got him along with. Weird Wolf. And How are the joints on that skull cruncher? They're fine. Um, they're, they're not super loose, are they? No, well, his legs, like yeah. his thighs, they, they could be a little tighter, but they're not loose to the point where they're like flopping all around. Yeah, that but, was like, like the biggest problem I remember with the uh, the original release was that the legs were super floppy. It was like, that, and I think the. Uh, the shoulders would pop off all the time. Yeah, and like I have been, um, like I've been transforming this guy, um, a couple times, um, throughout the um this episode, and yeah, I've had no real problems. Um, and uh, yeah, Skull Cruncher, he's good. Um, Red Wolf, he is good as well. Um, his big gun is weird. His like bathtub gun, yeah. Mainly with the fact that, in order to have him holding the gun like completely, it has to be sat at an angle. Yeah, because of the uh, that's two little. Also, sorry, go ahead. Um, yeah, just because of the two tabs at the uh, handle, of the gun which makes it unable to actually sit fully. That's also one that you have to be super careful with because unless they fixed it in like that super late wave reissue refresh, the hinge on his back to open up the cockpit is prone to breaking. It's just the plastic is kind of cheap and thin, or at least it was on the older versions. I don't know if that's going to be an issue with this one or if it's might have even been something they fixed later on, but it's definitely something to be careful of. I've transformed Weird Wolf a couple times as well, and I haven't noticed any problems. Um, it usually isn't like an off the bat thing. It's one of those ones where it takes like maybe a month or two, or you know, it's one of those things where just the longer you have them, the more prone he is to breakage. Um, so his longevity is not the not greatest. So much. I I went through like three Weird Wolves, and all of them had mm. the that panel break, the hinge. Well, I'm just gonna be keeping him in his ro- keeping him in his robot mode then, I guess. I think it's just because the um, the like the cockpit part that's underneath the colored the clear plastic. I think it's like a soft plastic, so maybe like some of the plasticizer leaked into that piece, which I know is also like an issue with a lot of the siege blast effects. So I, I that's like my theory on why it broke, but it could also just be that the plastic was weak to begin with. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Overall, nice to finally have these guys in my collection, and love the G one packaging. Like, you can't not love the G one packaging. Unless you're someone um, who really was hoping they would be G one reissues, and then you open them up and you're yeah. like, "What's this garbage?" <laughs> yeah. Um. Whenever I like first heard about them, like I was kind of disappointed that they weren't like the legit. G1 Headmasters, but 
I guess not having the figures at all to begin with helps my case. But it still would have been nice to have the legit G1 figures. Even uh, just to have like a, a second, or if, if 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 it was Zeus's case, fourth shot at um at some of those molds, especially if you have if you had ones that had like QC problems. I yeah. I never picked up Wolf Wire, but I did have Takara's Wil- Weird Wolf. Um, and did the hinge never, on yours snap? Um, I only ever transformed him from um his beat because he got he was packaged in beast mode so i transformed him from beast mode to robot mode and then i've never transformed him ever again he was only transformed once right. so he's intact but that's only because okay. he's never I been gotcha. transformed <laughs> yeah okay i gotcha um and then i never picked up a wolf wire um i have i also have the retro headmasters but i they are um they're gonna live in the box they're all living in the boxes and i don't think i even unpacked my my wave two ones because I, I i bought i bought the wave two ones off of someone because i haven't seen them um but i bought them online and um so i also have those um and i don't know if that if that counts for my for my go around but zeus um zeus has nothing left so jared do you have anything else i would have had a jazz if it weren't stupid post office <laughs> um Yes, I do have one more thing. It's the uh, Transformers crossover figure, um, Expanse. Ooh. Um, How are your pants? Yeah. He's a good figure. Um, one problem right off the bat with mine, the wings in his Blackbird mode are like the wings of a bird. They flop around, and there is absolutely no friction on them at all whatsoever. What kind of birds have you been hanging around? They, f- they flap like a bird's. I don't know. Bird's wings, but anyways. um, Yeah, whenever, as soon as I took um, him out of the box, both of his wings just right onto the ground, which was not the greatest start, or not the greatest first impression. <laughs> um, thankfully, the rest of the figure saves it itself, basically. Um, transformation. I liked it. Um, I have my, I have my uh, actual studio series Jetfire in um, the combined mode with Prime, so I haven't actually messed with the golden uh, hot minute, but um. Transformation was nice. Um, the robot mode looks really good. That's what I've been displaying him in. Um, the blast effects are nice. Um, the Wolverine um, blast effect and the other person's blast. Side. I think. Um, it's lasers out the eyes, right? No, it's like a... Just like a blade kind of thing. But it comes uh, out of the eyes. No. No? Are you sure? No. I could have sworn he came with a Cyclops no. blast effect. No, he comes with no? he comes with um Wolverine Claws, Psylocke Sword, and then That's another it. effect that goes around either the Wolverine or the um the saber tooth that he that it comes with. Those, those yeah. kind of it's th- those. That's the piece that at least some people thought. Oh, those could probably be optic blasts. No. Huh. I will say the um, visor is not the easiest thing in the world to flip up and down. Um, to get the full like Cyclops visor look going, but um, over time it's gotten. Easier to flip up and down. But, um, yeah, overall, a really nice figure, aside from the wings for the Blackbird mode. Um, yeah, love the packaging for it. Just absolutely love it. And, um, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, 
I guess the last thing I can talk about is um, I picked up the uh, last of the Galactic Odyssey uh, packs. So I got the Botropolis Rescue Mission. So this is um, uh, Space Ironworks. It's a Skylinks DLC, right? Right, Skylinks DLC. Yeah, that's what I've been calling it. Um, Space <laughs> I Ironworks. I want that, but I, I don't have the money for it right now. It also keeps going in and out of stock on Amazon. Which is confusing, yeah. It's currently in stock. Mm. Um, so, um, yeah, I, um, I picked, I picked it up, um, if the only annoying thing is that one of my micro, one of my micromasters was broken, like one of the, the, the tabs on, like, the shuttle's broken, it doesn't really affect it that much, but it was still, like, annoying to see that, um, um, otherwise, like, I mean, there, I haven't, I haven't hooked them up to Skylinks yet, but, um, their colors are great, um, and it's one of those things where it's, like, I'm, I'm, I like the the idea of it and everything, but I'm also kind of annoyed that just over the course of the the Galactic Odyssey, they they kind of went like came out of the the, the, the they kind of came out of the gate like swing with um with the Paradromedic and Ratchet two pack, and it was just like oh yeah yeah it's like they're gonna have stuff that makes sense and everything and to be cool and whatnot and it'll be great and then every other set was like you wanted one figure or not the other or it was just complete wet fart yeah like uh the micromaster one i don't think many people cared about that one micromaster set was 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 kind of awful um i had the it. autobot clones were disappointing autobot clones were stupid i also have them <laughs> there was the uh the barricade and Punch counter punch that people only wanted the barricade from. I have two versions. I have two of those set. Don't ask me why. Um, so that you could get two different punch counter punches again. No. 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 Okay. Uh, sell me your barricade then. Maybe we'll talk. Maybe. Okay. I gotta figure out what I'm doing. Um. But yeah, no, the, the DLC set for Skylinks, pretty cool. I need to hook them up to Skylinks. But um the, the I thought you were gonna say I need to get a Skylink, so I was and then I would have asked why you got the DLC first. But no, I mentioned before I got Skylinks and, and Scorpion on the same day. Yeah, but my brain is just melting right now. I, I think, can't remember. I think anything. I did. I keep saying that, but then I only remember I think I got them on the same day, but then I like I opened Hmm. Maybe I didn't get them on the same day. Or no, I think the I did. The point is you have both. I think I think I did, but then I only played with Scorponok first. Because I did the I did that picture, the um the uh, choose your fighter, where it was um it was a uh, Scorponok or it was um Zarek, um the Titan Master Scorponok that um that came with one of the the, the die cast one that came with one of the, the It came with Grotusk. Yeah, it came with Grotusk. And then the um, the Olin Zarek head that comes with the BotCon exclusive, <laughs> um, which I like the fact because before it was like that was my Scorponok, and now I'm like, oh no, I have Scorponok. So then here's here's the dad Scorponok who's gigantic, and then in like a couple like. Never talk to me or my son or my son's son again. And like, not, well, no, it's, it's Olin. Olin is apparently um, Moe's son. Um, I don't know what any of those words mean. So, Zer if I remember right, Zarek's, in some continuity, Zarek's first name is Mo. Okay. I gotta look it up because Mo sounds like an awful name. Mo <laughs> Zarek. It's it's like mosaic, but dumber. Lord Pier Mortalis Olin Zarek the Third. That man has too many names. Father to Don, um, 
had a daughter, uh, Lyra, who um, rejected evil. So then Mo found another woman, and they had Olin. So his name is Mo. Yeah, he, yeah his name is Mo. And Olin is his That's... son. Okay. Olin is also incredible. Must be incredibly old because let, let's let's assume that he was born sometime in the early twentieth twenty um twenty first century. It's like uh, the the Wings Universe comic that he debuts in happens like like a thousand years after that or something. Yeah. But yeah, I just, just this is just a long winded thing. But yeah, I have the Botcon toy as well. Um, the the. As far as G1 Scorponoffs go, that means, like, I'm missing what? Like, the original toy and the, if I wanted it, the, the giant, like, Sofubi kind of one that they did a couple years ago. Hmm. It's, they, they made, like, a giant, um, um, vinyl, vinyl one that, um, is supposed to be, like, it was, was done to be the same size as G1 Scorp, uh, uh, Fort Max. And they did it in Black Zarek color, so if anything, I probably should have gotten that Black Zarek. At the same time, it was yeah, like, cause that it was like a three or four hundred dollar vinyl figure. Yeah, who keeps slamming a door outside? At least it's not the uh, the street racing. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do remember that. Oh, I've I don't think I've ever been on call had like whole motorcycle clubs drive by before. Just like a whole bunch of old dudes on bikes all going by at the same time. You've talked about that type of thing before, though. Have I? Yeah, I feel like you have, Uncle. Oh. Yeah, maybe I have then. But that's always the weirdest thing. Zeus, how long I... did it take you to find that tweet? Uh, like a minute. Okay. <laughs> because I just, you said choose your fighter, so I searched your name and then choose your fighter. Mm hmm. And then you found it. Yeah, it's, it was very quick. Oh, when the basement was, was less of a disarray. <laughs> right, so you have Botropolis now. I have Botropolis. My, my, I, I have the DLC for my Scorponok. My, my, Scorpino, my uh... Skylinks. My Skylinks. I have the DLC for my Scorponok as well. I got Fast Track like ages ago. I don't have Scorponok or Fast Track. Yeah, I mentioned Fast Track, and now I, I, why do I have to reach it over there? I'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, that's been an episode. Um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, like more news starts trickling out, or we just have more people on, so we can have like, um, a bit like a bit more of a of a roundtable discussion about certain topics and stuff. Not that I have any in the the can, but um. We're hoping to um, use our social media a little bit more to, um, to, to squeeze out what it is that the listeners really want us to talk about. Um, yeah, uh, so if you're a listener and you want us to talk about something, feel free to tweet at us at Steel City Bots on Twitter. Uh huh. Or, I feel like that's where you were going and I wanted to do it this time. Right, no, you're right. And then um, individually you can tweet at us as well if, you, if you're if you something you, you want to to, to pick our brains on as far as like something we said or um stuff we have um as far as figures so um zeus where can people find me people can, uh people can find miguel at twitter where recently you've been doing something i'll have to check in on that that's logos recently... minor uh, for people who who may not have heard him because i think um, yeah. he cut out on my end Oh, my bad. Uh, Logos Miner, where recently you've been posting uh, Inferno and Red Alert. And for, well, as far as pictures, I also, like, my, my actual latest tweet was almost replied undown to clown to my boss's last email. And that was today. <laughs> Which, once again, I just want to say, that definitely cost you a promotion. Sure. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I asked Zeus where people can find me. So I will tell people where they can find, where to find Jared. Jared. So if people want to see Jared's um, custom uh, jazz, uh, jazz. Thank you, Zeus. Um, 
I'm trying to I, I'm trying to <laughs> search his name so I could see what else he's been doing or, or taking pictures of. Um, oh, was, oh, you you got a Lego set recently. You got an Imperial shuttle. Yeah. Um. So yeah, if you want to see his Imperial shuttle or um his custom uh jazz and stuff, you can find him at Dread Prime underscore. And then uh, Jerry, take it away. Where can people find Zeus? You can um, find Zeus at underscore Zeus spelled out on Twitter, um, where he posts things, stuff, stuff, and things. He's been selling. He's been trying to sell a lot of stuff. If people are yeah. interested in a battle in space, um, um, Cyclonus. Cyclonus, like hit him up. Although Zeus, you more, do realize... but more pressingly, someone please buy my mini plotron. I will. I will. Take nearly any offer on that. Yeah, but he he. Ooh. Um, I didn't know that the sound wave sold out on Pulse. Um. Yeah. He found all the pieces for his Voltron, so the Voltron is complete. Yeah, it's well, it doesn't have any of like the individual, but it's got all the lion parts. It doesn't have the individual weapons, but it has the lion parts. I'm re only repeating this because um, on my end, you keep cutting out, so I don't know what will be in the final recording. Um. Okay. I will also mention. If you do end up selling the Battle in Space Rodimus, though, that means... I mean, Rodimus. No. <laughs> Cyclonus. No one should sell a Battle in Space Rodimus. Battle in Space Rodimus is an affront to God. Um, <laughs> it truly <laughs> is. Um, anyway, if, you sell, if you sell the Cyclonus, um, your your um, Kingdom one won't have a, a, a Target Master partner. Eh, I'm not that bothered about it. I don't usually Fine. display figures with weapons anyways. Fine. And I also kind of hate that nightstick mold. Deprive him of nightstick. <laughs> um, excuse me. But yeah, that's been an episode. This has been Steel City Bots and the gang here. Um, and uh, bye. Bye. Don't forget to moisturize.